What do you mean when you talk about levels, stages, and waves? They are all the same thing. These are 12 stages, 12 levels, 12 waves, just different ways of thinking about it. Waves is to emphasize the spectrum-like nature, that they're not discrete, chunk, 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 but that they are a flowing continuum and that they move up and down little by little and that you slowly increase the level, you slowly increase that center of gravity. The stage conception is in psychology, you have stage theories, and so this is consistent with that. Levels is just another word for stages. Levels of consciousness may be a term. So all of those, those all mean the same thing. However, lines and types do not mean the same thing. So this is not Enneagram. This is not astrology. This is not horizontal. It's a whole different concept. That concept is also a factor. There are types. Types exist. But types are themselves moving through stages. And then the other question being, how would multiple intelligences fit into this? That you have IQ and EQ, let's say, emotional intelligence, or you have different character types expressing intelligence in different ways, different types of intelligences. This is an established theory. So this is what we call lines of development, different but related developmental aspects of the self that, that develop on their own path, but in an they influence one another. They, they bleed over. And one analogy I like to make is a Dungeons & Dragons analogy. You have all your character stats, which you're trying to increase the most useful ones. But you also have your overall character level. That's more like your altitude. So you might be maxing out one stat or another to be a better warrior or a better bard. But you, you are overall at a level of comprehending reality. And so the point of the integral model is just to simply be aware that these stages exist, that these types exist, and that these lines, these multiple intelligences, these lines of development are the things that are going through these stages. So it is only by a, a, a very broad analogy that we're calling these levels of the self, levels of consciousness. They're levels of aspects of the self that are evolving independently according to different theorists, different metrics, and this is being made into a grand meta-theory that combines those all together into one 12-stage path. Who goes through it? What goes through it? Lines of development, different parts of the self. But you can take central ones and you can say a person's values, a person's self-sense, a person's cognition in, in Piaget in that sense. Each of these parts of a person, you can put them at these altitudes and and you can start comparing those models side by side saying that this altitude corresponds to this altitude and that is how altitudes is constructed how does this relate to other developmental models how does this altitudes model relate to other stage models not type models but stage models it attempts to correspond with all of them all psychological models of development that are accepted economic models of development for society any sort of social, like it is an attempt to combine all of these aspects of reality into one 12 stage theory. So if you know of a model of development of anything, of any evolutionary um, mimetic structure, a self, a culture, any, anything that is developing consciousness, these 12 stages apply to it pretty fundamental to reality, pretty difficult to get that point across. Will I accomplish my personal goals by moving up in altitude? From your perspective, the path of development is going to be actually what we would call horizontal. It will be what you think you want according to your present altitude, according to your present set of values. And that will only move you horizontal within your present stage of consciousness. If I'm already coming from an altitude and I'm only trying to accomplish the aims of that altitude, how in the world could I get to a higher altitude? And unfortunately, the answer is, it's not up to you only. It's, it is, as we said, it's a four-dimensional affair. You first have to have access and exposure to that altitude, to that meme, in the form of other people, in the form of education. You have to have a social system that will allow you to do that. You have to be in a free world or perhaps some world that teaches this sort of thing. You have to have access to that. You have to be able to afford whatever it takes to move up the altitude. And you have to be aware of it, which 
uh, from your present perspective, you really wouldn't be aware of it now, would you, right? So uh, to move up in altitude is actually very tricky business. That's why it's so great to have a map of what the general consensus on development is, that it goes in this general direction via larger comprehension of reality, embracing multiple former, resolving that dialectic cognitive dissonance, that tension, as you get to a new comprehension, which is accepting of multiple subcategories of reality, multiple realities within a larger reality. That's how you move through these. This map in particular should give you a clue as to what's next, especially if you understand where you're at now, then the next stage is revealed to you in this model. Another way to answer that, though, is that in general, you have a sense in life of a way that if you were at your best, if you were really pushing, if you were really moving forward, you'd go in this direction. And if you were just kind of keeping things even, you would be going in this direction. And if you were kind of falling or regressing, things weren't going so well, you'd go in this direction, you'd go down. So that's why we're kind of upward, downward to this because naturally we conceptualize things this way. So in a weird sense, there is to a certain extent, there is a sense of intuition about this stuff. And there's a sense that you at your best will sort of gravitate towards a slightly higher altitude. This is, this is part of the theory that we are consciously intending to, to raise our altitude up and we get stuck in an altitude because of our beliefs from that altitude influencing what we believe to be progress and what we believe to be healthy and constructive behavior and thought.